Okay. So let's start seated. <clears throat> like I said, we'll move a little bit and then we'll do our Kapalabhati, our shining school pranayama, and we'll keep moving. So from our seated position, just get comfortable and maybe just tune into our surroundings as far as the temperature of the room, maybe the smells, the sounds, even the sights. Kind of take it all in. And let's close the eyes and let go of what we see. Let's bring our awareness to our center, letting go even of the temperature. Bringing the awareness that we had on the smell, maybe the taste and the sounds, and bringing that to the breath. So bringing everything within. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's bring awareness to our eyes and maybe just what we see behind the eyelids. The fire element, which is all around us, but specifically in the summer, we feel the heat of the sun, the fire. The fire element rules our vision. So bringing awareness to the eyes and let's open the eyes without moving the head, just move the eyes down and move them up say to 12 o'clock. And then without moving the head, move the eyes down to six o'clock and then up to 12. Now over to three, across to nine o'clock, back to three, over to nine o'clock, and then just to the middle, close the eyes, let out a breath, let out another breath. Take note of your heart beating in your chest. You notice anything else within the body? Any messages from the body today? And now let's come into tabletop. And I'll open the eyes, or if you want, you can move without opening the eyes, but coming into table. Bring the knees underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders. And let's just reach the right arm up in front. Yeah, then just reach it back. And then we'll reach it forward. And then exhale, reach it back. And then inhale, plant the right hand. We'll inhale, reach the left arm forward. And then exhale, reach it back. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, reach it back. Last time, inhale, reach it forward. And exhale, plant the left hand. And then let's just tap the tops of the feet to the floor. Meeting up the tops of the feet. And then kind of curl the toes under, sit back a little bit, lower the forearms down, and just tap the palms and the hands on the floor. And then we'll rise up, back to table, bring the tops of the feet to the earth. And now let's drop the belly, lift the heart, coming into our cow. And then let's exhale around, maybe really exaggerate, pressing the earth away, tucking that pelvis, looking towards the navel with those fire element eyes, then lower the belly, lift the chest, drop the head back, let's pause here. Take note of the shoulder blades, maybe feel those shoulder blades pinching together, guys. And then let's exhale to round, pressing the earth away, when those shoulder blades separate, gaze towards the navel, chin to the chest, and then let's inhale to tabletop. Exhale, on an exhale, whenever your next exhale comes, curl the toes under, looks like downward facing dog, really pressing those hands into the earth. And if it's in your practice, lower those heels down and then come onto the balls of the feet and then lower the heels. If your heels don't reach the floor, that's okay. Just kind of move them towards the earth and then up, kind of 
as if you're on high heel shoes when you weren't. Now let's inhale up to plank pose just so we can drop the knees down and then tap the tops of the feet on the floor. Let's rock it back just a little forearms down and then tap the palm on the floor. Rock back up to table, curl the toes under, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Now maybe in this downward facing dog, we turn the hands out towards the long edges of the mat so we can angle the hands out and just press the chest towards the thighs, only if that feels good on the arms and the elbows, it's kind of bringing the load, we call it, the weight into a different part of the arms here and the shoulders, let's breathe in and out. And now let's exhale, lower down the knees, bring the hands back to a normal tabletop. And then from here, let's drop the heels back, lower the forearm, or drop the hips back, lower the forearms, plank, pop the palms on the floor, rise up to table, tap the tops of the feet to the floor, waking up all areas of the feet and the hands. And now walk the hands forward. Let's sink the heart down into puppy pose, lowering the front of the body towards the ground, hips to the sky. Breathe out and in. Exhale. Now let's glance up at the hands. And now move the right hand kind of towards the middle of the mat and sweep the left hand under the heart. And maybe bring that chest as close to the left arm as you can the palm of the left hand shining towards the sky, just a variation of thread the needle. Breathe in and out, and exhale. Breathe in, and now let's exhale to bring the left arms through, bring it forward, and then walk the hands towards the knees. Let's come into our high kneel. So shoulders over the hips, and then just what we did on the floor, let's do it um, on our knees, bringing the left arm across the body, but press the arm to chest this time to look over the left shoulder. So again, it's kind of a different load. It's the same movement, but it's a different experience in the body. Breathing out and in. And then let's exhale, bring the head back to the middle and let's take the arms out. And we're going to bring the right arm across the chest this time in our high kneel first. Bring the gaze over the right shoulder. In and out. One more breath out and in. And then we'll exhale to open up the arms wide, like a T. Good. And let's bring the hands to the side. And then we'll walk our hands forward, hinging at the waist, coming into our puppy. And then bring the heart to the floor, bring the left arm to the middle of the mat, and then slide the right arm under the back of the right hand towards the earth. Finding our thread the needle in our puppy pose. Breathing out and in. And now let's inhale, glance up at the hands. Bring the right arm to meet the left. Then walk the hands to tabletop. And let's step our feet between the hands, guys, and come all the way to standing, reaching the hands up to the sky. And let's keep our hands lifted and see if we can lengthen through the side body, the back body, and the front of the body just by grounding the feet and reaching up to the sky. Sometimes when I do that, I clasp my hands into Kali Mudra with the three fingers folded over and the index and thumb reaching up. And that really seems to stretch across the shoulders that way. So now let's ground the feet and we'll exhale over to the right. Really good, guys. And then over to the left. Breathing as we exhale, over to the left. And then let's inhale, bring the arms back up to sky. Let's sit in a gentle chair. So gently making our way to chair pose, lowering the sits bones down, bending the knees, feeling into the feet. Maybe bringing hands to the heart as we lower down. Our pelvis is tucked. Binding ourselves in chair for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale here into chair. And now let's rise up, straightening the legs. Maybe the hands are soul to heart. And now ground the left foot. Let's with control step the right foot back. And then with as much ease and gentleness as you can, 
Let's bring the right foot or the right knee down. So maybe you bring the hands down. Or maybe you just lower that knee down, but bring the knee to the ground. And I've got my blocks in the just because I always like to have my blocks when I come in a low lunge. It was like the heart. And then we'll lift the arms up. We're just going to fold over this left knee, guys. So when you're ready, we're just going to, the movement is in our hips. So we just hinge forward, exhale. And then we'll inhale to rise. Really gently hinging forward. You can have hands on the waist as well, or hands on the blocks. And then lifting up. Let's do it two more times, hinging at the waist, heart melting into the knee, and back up. And then our last time, we'll hinge at the waist, hover over that knee. And this time, let's plant the hands and bring that left knee back. And from here, we can plant the hands in table and sway the hips side to side, dropping them to the right and to the left. And then when you're ready, bring the right knee, the right foot forward, the right knee into a bend. Coming into our low lunge on the other side, and we'll bring our arms up to the sky or to the hips or to the thigh. And we'll do that same movement here. This time, let's see if we can bring some awareness to the strength within the torso. And we'll exhale to hinge forward. And then right back up. And then exhale to hinge forward. Inhale, let's rise back up. As we rise, let me press the foot into the floor and you get another experience. Exhale, hinging forward. As you inhale, press the earth away with that right foot coming up nice and tall. Breathe in. Good job, guys. And now let's frame the foot, bringing the hands to the floor. Send the knee back. And then come into puppy pose with the hands or in the chest down or come into your downward facing dog with the hips to the sky. Either one, see if you can bring awareness to the spine, to the length of the arms, the opening of the armpits. And let's be here for five breaths. Really nice one. Getting a little bit of movement in the body, getting our systems flowing, our blood flowing, air and breath flowing. Breathe out and in another time. And then we'll lower the knees down and let's come to seated. Our comfortable seat for our pranayama here in the middle of our practice. <clears throat> Let's scan the body for a few moments first before I explain our pranayama and just notice that we take an inventory of the physical sensations of the body and maybe of any emotional or mental states right now. Now, Kapalabhati Pranayama is um, just an inhale with a forceful exhale. And we exhale and inhale out the nose so the mouth is closed. This is a practice that you don't want to do if you have, say, high blood pressure. Or if you're experiencing diarrhea, you also don't want to do it now. So if you have either of those, just breathe normally as I guide us through this, this pranayama. So what we do is we inhale through the nose and the mouth is closed. And when we exhale, we just force it out the mouth, or out the nose, excuse me, just like a, okay? And as we do that, our stomach is going to pump. So I'm going to breathe, and you'll see my stomach. I'm going to place my hand there. The exhale is, so maybe just try that a couple times first before we start. When you blow out the nose, it's a, so the stomach goes out as you do that, okay? So the inhale is actually passive. We don't even have to think about our inhale because it just happens automatically just after we exhale, okay? So we're gonna do this for 30 times and I'll count for us. So it's just like a one, two, three, four. 
Okay. All right, so let's keep our hands on the lap or sometimes we can bring them up to the side. Whatever feels good. Sometimes people like to do that to open the chest. I keep my hands down usually. So we'll breathe in and we'll fill the lungs. Breathe in through the nose, the mouth is closed. And exhale everything out, maybe through the mouth. Now close the mouth, inhale all the way. And then through the nose, one, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 17, 18, 19, 20. 29, 30, exhale, and then inhale. And then let the breath go and we'll pause. We'll rest here, maybe eyes closed. Letting this invigoration kind of settle on the mind, in the body. And then we'll do another round. So you can keep your eyes closed if you want. You can open them. Any variation with the hands. We'll breathe in through the nose. And exhale out the mouth fully. Close the mouth, inhale through the nose. And out the nose, exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. One, 22, 23. 30, exhale, and then inhale fully. And then exhale, let the breath go. Every last little bit of breath leaving the body. And then we'll sit. It's kind of like when you open up like a seltzer water or a carbonated beverage, all of those bubbles float up to the top and then you just let them settle. It's kind of like that on the mind and in the body. So we're just gonna let ourselves settle. Maybe notice how the body feels, the mind, the emotions. And then when you're ready, let's do some neck rolls all the way around. You can open your eyes. Noticing any energy that was awakened in the spine, we'll just start with the neck, roll on the neck. Go both directions. And then let's roll our shoulders, bringing the neck to stillness, moving down. The spine, so kind of now into the thoracic a little bit with our shoulders. And then we'll rest our shoulders and let's come into our tabletop. <clears throat> and then in our tabletop, we're just gonna move through the spine here with this energy that we just awakened. So let's lower the belly, lift the heart. Here's our cow. And then we'll press the earth away so we're rounded to cat again. Finding cow, drop the belly, lift the heart. And then exhale, sigh, <sighs> finding cat. Let's inhale to neutral spine. And then let's step our feet forward into an exhale, rising all the way up. Inhale, bring the hands overhead again. Maybe bring the hands to the heart space. Let's stand in mountain pose. Blink open and close the eyes. And see if we can invite some freshness into our practice, some invigoration into our practice. Let's open up our arms like a T. Step the left foot back, the right leg is straight, the left leg is straight. Nice, guys. And then exhale, twist towards the right. So the right foot is in front and straight, and we'll twist. Yes. And now maybe the right hand comes towards the earth and the left arm reaches up. And then now bring the left arm down and the right arm up. You can bend that right knee a lot or a little. Just kind of swing like a pendulum here with our legs straight and grounded. Yeah, really good. And now bring the right arm back again and the left arm up. And let's just tick tock through this. So maybe your own breath. You can spend two, three breaths in one position. Maybe you want to go one breath, one breath, one breath, one breath. Just move 
at the pace that's going to suit you and suit your day today. Ah, really good. And now when you're ready, let's meet with the arms extended straight, short edge to short edge. We're still in our twist. Really nice. Breathe in. Uh-huh, you got it here. You got it. Let's twist to the front. Exhale. We knew where we were going. Let's bring our arms up to the sky. And now reaching forward, we're going to hinge at the waist like we did earlier. Hinging, hinging in our lunge. We did this, but we're going to keep the leg straight. Now ground into the right foot. Lift the left foot off the ground. Let's soar a little bit. And then maybe we reach the arms back. Let's ground into the foot. Maybe feel some expansiveness in the chest, maybe even in the mind, inviting that creativity that our Kapala Bhakti can bring. Let's bend that knee and then bring the left foot to plant besides the right foot and then wiggle up the knees. Maybe sway the hips. We haven't done our hula hoop in a while. We can hula hoop those hips around. I think we're overdue. And then let's find some stillness again and we'll move into the left side, planting the left foot and then stepping the right foot back, pivot the heel down. The right foot's kind of angled towards the long edge, maybe just a little, but find the stance that feels right for you because we're gonna bring our arms up and then out and then exhale into our twist. And then whenever you're ready on your own breath, your own practice time, just tip tock through the left arm going down and the right arm going down. Just moving through here. Maybe you bring your awareness to the knees here, maybe to the torso, maybe you bring it to the elbows, just discovering yourself here, how your body moves. And then when you next exhale, let's bring the arms out like a T, so short edge to short edge. And then on another exhale, bring the heart forward. Good, let's bend the knee in the front just a little bit as we reach the arms up to sky. And then we hinge forward, lifting the right foot off the ground. Adding a little sore here. Lifting up out of that hip if we can, the arms are forward and extended. Finding some balance. Breathing out and in. And out and in. And now instead of stepping the foot forward, let's lower that right foot down. Straighten the left leg as we rise up again. And now pivot the feet towards the long end. So now we're setting up for a star pose. Arms reaching out. Nice, guys. Yes, let's reach the palms to the shine towards the floor. Wrists in line with elbows. And now bring the heels in, point the toes out. And let's exhale to sit down into goddess. And then just drop the hands to the thighs. Yeah. Now let's straighten the legs. And then exhale, sit into goddess. And as we sit into goddess, try to keep those knees from collapsing inward. Try to keep them strong and open towards the pinky edge of the foot. So let's try to bring that into our practice today. So we'll straighten the legs to stand tall. And as we exhale and bend, keep those knees towards the pinky edge. It doesn't have to be severe, but just don't let them collapse in. Strong inner thighs, and then we'll inhale to stand. Yes, now let's exhale to drop into goddess, and we'll pause in goddess here. Yeah, and bring those arms up. And let's just add a little twist. So maybe we drop the right elbow towards the right thigh, and the left elbow towards the left thigh. And just go ahead and move through that motion. Breath with movement, movement with breath. Grounded in the present. Now next time you bring your heart to the middle, let's pause in the middle. Straighten those legs, bring the arms up overhead. And now with arms overhead, let's pivot the feet towards the long edge and then just heel toe our feet together. So bringing the hips over the ankles and the arms are still high. It's kind of toward tree pose as we drop the, drop the left foot into the floor, grounding, bend the right knee. Now open up to the side with the right knee. Tuck the pelvis. 
So maybe you feel longer in the front of the body now. And then let your tree branches grow if you want to grow some branches. Really nice. Let's be here for three breaths. Now let's exhale, bring the knee into the middle, lower the foot to the ground. Let's bring our hips, our hands to the hips. And now here, grounding that left foot again, we'll bring the right heel towards the right glute. If you need to, bring the right knee up a little bit and bring the right hand towards the ankle. And let's find our king dancer pose. And then maybe we lean forward and kick the right foot into the right hand and reach the left arm forward. You can hinge a lot. Some people like to make it more of a back bend. So find your expression of King Dancer. We'll be here two more breaths. Really nice, guys. And now let's exhale to bring the knee to the middle. The hand comes down. Release the foot from the hand and bring the knee out in front. And let the right foot hover. So our left leg is getting a lot of work here. Let's roll the right ankle around. Around and around with that right ankle switching directions. And then now let's step the right foot back. All the right foot meets the ground. And then let's lower that right knee down. Bring your hands to the floor if it's helpful. Send the hips back and then send that left leg long and straight for our half splits. And we'll fold over the left leg. Our tree reaching us up to the heavens, our dancer pose, a little more etheric as well, and how grounding in the earth, coming down nice and low. Let's bend the left knee so we can walk the hands forward, bending into a low lunge, and then let's drop the hips back again, coming into our half split. Oh, flexing the foot, seeing if we can find a little bit of freedom here, freedom to breathe, Freedom to express. Freedom to loosen these muscles. Let's inhale. And now exhale, bend the knee just enough to bring the left knee back so the knees can meet. Let's walk our hands forward and find a downward facing dog. Lifting hips to sky, grounding the toes, maybe grounding heels, hands. Notice the shoulders, if the shoulder blades are coming close to one another. Or maybe you feel them expand away. Breathe out and in. Thanking your body for everything that's done to get you right here to this point, not just today, but in your whole life. Let's inhale. And then we'll exhale, walk our feet towards the front of the mat. One step at a time, kneading in the forward fold. Bend the knees. Inhale to rise up to stand. Keep those hands above the head, ground the feet. The right foot grounds this time. Bend the left knee, turn that left knee open. And then as you're ready, maybe those hands part and you grow your branches as you find your expression of tree. Embody what a tree means to you. Maybe it embodies shade today and coolness. Maybe it's strength. Whatever that might be, let's embody that here. Three more breaths. Let's bring the left knee to the front and then ground the hands or ground the foot, ground the hands to the side of the body. And now let's bend the left knee, the left foot coming towards the glute. Maybe we find the foot with the left hand. And then when you're ready, find your king dance and maybe bending that front knee along a little. And embodying what it might mean to be a dancer in a king's court, maybe it's playfulness. 
Maybe it's beauty. Maybe something good. <laughs> something positive and uplifting. Two more breaths here. Breathe in. We'll slowly exhale to bring the right hand towards the right side of the leg, the left knee to the middle, and then we'll bring the left knee in front and roll that ankle of the left foot. All directions, breathing out and in. And then as you're ready, step that left foot back, 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 back behind us, lowering the foot, and then lowering the knee, coming into our low lunge on the other side, coming down to the earth. And then once you get that knee down and you feel stable, then we're gonna straighten that right leg and we'll drop ourselves back. The next one. Connecting here to those roots of the tree. Dropping into the earth. And then let's exhale to bend the knee. And then when you're ready, drop back into your half split. Breathing in and out. One more breath. And now let's exhale. If, you, if it's accessible, just walk the hands back. I'm just gonna lower the sits bones down and bring that left foot on the inside of that right thigh. Otherwise, make yourself down to seated and bring the right leg out and the left foot on the inside of that right thigh. And we'll ground and we'll sit. We'll pull the shoulders up, back and down. Maybe close the eyes. For just a moment and feel ourselves here seated on the floor. And now as you're ready, eyes open, your eyes closed. We'll inhale to reach the arms up overhead, wrists over shoulders. And then our next exhale sends us into a little twist as the heart reaches towards the same direction as our right foot. Flex that right foot and then we'll fold over that right leg. If that left sits bone comes off the ground, you know that's okay, because maybe you feel a deeper stretch in the back of the right leg. If you want, you can keep it grounded and see if you notice it in the low back more. There's a lot of different ways to experience this shape. Let's be here for five breaths. Breath. And let's inhale to rise. Nice job, guys. And then we'll bring the shoulders back over the hips and kind of rotate the torso. Let's plant the hands on our side, bring them back behind us, and just drop the head back. Maybe roll the shoulders back. Yeah, good. Feel the throat open. Maybe you open and close the jaw. And we'll bring the ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips, and let's swap out the legs. So the left leg is long now, and the right foot is in. And then flex that left foot, inhale to bring arms up to sky. And then shine the heart towards the foot, and we'll fold forward over that left leg. You can keep the sit, right sit bone down, maybe the right sit bone lifts. You can see which way you prefer. One more breath. And now let's exhale to walk the hands towards the knee towards the foot, and then we'll exhale to twist so the shoulders are over the hips. And now let's bring both legs out long. And what we can do is we can either roll over to one side and make our way to our back. If you want, you can lower down kind of through boat pose. Whatever you do, just do it with awareness. 
And then once we get to our backs, let's hug our knees to our chest. And maybe we find a happy baby with our hands on the pinky edge of the foot or maybe on the calves, kind of pulling both knees towards the armpits with those ankles kind of over the knees. Mm -hmm. And now as you're ready, let's bring ourselves to our Shavasana. If there's any shape that we didn't get to, that you feel might be really supportive for your mind, your body, your spirit today, go ahead and bring that to your practice. Allowing our shavasana to drop us into loving kindness. See if you can relax the legs, and as you relax the legs, maybe they feel a little longer, like you just grew an inch or two. Maybe just by relaxing the glutes and walking the heels out a little further from the glutes, the legs become long. Maybe you exhale and you feel those shoulder blades separate a little more, and it feels like your shoulders are further apart as you lift up and plant the spine and let those shoulder blades cascade onto the earth. Allowing ourselves to rest and to disentangle any pressures or expectations is allowing us to rest. Let's give ourselves a breath in and imagine that breath being full of loving kindness. And as we exhale, that loving kindness is disseminated throughout our entire being. And let's visualize ourselves on our mats or wherever we're on. And say to ourselves, may I be filled with loving kindness.
May I be happy. May I have peace. May I be loved. Now let's visualize our household. People, pets, plants, living thing. And say to our household, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy. May you have peace. May you be loved. Now visualizing the street that you live on. If you're in the countryside, you're just visualizing every household on the mail route. Visualize the street on your mail route and say to each home, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy. May you have peace. May you be loved. Now visualizing your entire community. Feel and visualize your community. And say to that community, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy. May you have peace. May you be loved. It's rest in this energy. Can stay in Shavasana, and if you want to come up to your seated position, you 
allowing our body at a cellular level, an energetic level to absorb the energy and benefits of this practice of meditation. Let's exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Oh. Shanti. 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 Stay.